Good morning. So, Jake went to work, which means Gabe and I are morning buddies again. We're off to get a uh, cough. Off to get cough. Off to get cough. Somebody put that on a shirt. Anyway, we're gonna go to Starbucks. Gonna get a little PSO. It's a pumpkin spice latte, and I can't believe I just said that. I hate myself. Somebody wants Starbucks. <laughs> Alright, I'm going home now. I stole Jake's Carlsberg beer shirt, which is a Danish beer, and I got him this shirt in Copenhagen. This is actually a nice story. This is the elephant beer, and when Jake visited me in Copenhagen, um, we sat in the grass, like looked over at the lake, and you know, in Denmark, you can drink in public, so we like drank elephant beers, and I think we had macaroons, and we just like enjoyed the weather and sat outside. It was a nice day. Goal for next week is to look a lot more uh, put together in my snaps because I'm not like 80% of the time. I walked into my desk and this is just a very nice scene. It makes me feel very happy and creative. Not so nice is that I forgot to put the cat back on my... Oh shoot. No! Okay, I ran this under some water. Hopefully that saves it, but it was totally hard. I hope I didn't ruin it. Also, this is YouTuber, video maker life. The light in the middle of my room. Shout out to my mom for the awesome washi tape. I am stacked. Because why not? So I'm writing a new blog post right now and I'm trying to find like a cohesive header to use for my titles and I love this font but you just really can't read it. So <laughs> nixing this one. You could do the laundry. So I forgot to show you guys that those journals I ordered on Amazon arrived and here they are. This is the Strathmore Visual Journal Mixed Media. You guys know Strathmore is my favorite paper. So I got both of these journals slash sketchbooks to be for like messy art journaling just to do something simple like this, throw my ideas out and kind of have that like nice mindless time where I can kind of do whatever I feel like. But funny thing, I ended up liking this paper and this size so much that I was using it today for planning out some paintings. So I think this might kind of be a dual purpose sketchbook. And even though it's not specifically watercolor paper, it does take my Peerless watercolors really well. And the other one I got is this Dilutions Creative Journal. I thought it was cool because it has this interior manila pocket and then like the sketchbooks, like a separate entity. And there's a ton of paper in here. And these are actually pretty thick. You can hear the weight. Haven't tried to watercolor on this yet or even done anything to it yet. So I'll let you know how it reacts to stuff. And I'm leaving on the labels right now because I think I want to film an art supply haul video because I bought a bunch of new supplies recently, so yeah. Walk away gracefully, but yeah, it's like, yeah, I don't think this business relationship is working anymore. I mean, it happens all the time. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, it's very specific about, like, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram, Pinterest, all those things. Paid advertising, paid traffic. And I'm learning a lot. Art of Paid Traffic with Rick Mulready. And I have already talked about that in the future. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We'll see what he says. So, yes, in regard. So, here's my first attempt in this bigger sketchbook. It's pretty nice. The paper is so smooth, which I'm not used to. The pencil doesn't really grip to anything, but... It was nice to use. I liked it. It was a lot of nice flow. I felt like I was using a pen almost. I think I'm going to try to throw some watercolor on it, but I'm hesitant. We'll see. Here we go. All right, all right. So, happy to report 
This took the watercolor very well. You can see a slight rippling there, but the paper is thick enough that it didn't like totally ripple, even though like it's not watercolor paper, there's no texture obviously, but it held up pretty well. So I probably should be talking more about the artwork than the paper quality, but I digress. You guys might know Soccer Core, I hope I'm saying it right, the Basilica in Paris. And um, I was thinking of how the sky is usually so blue and the building so white. I thought I would play into those blue tones and use those as the shading. So this was a quick maybe 10 minute sketch. So it was fun. Also, funny story, blue is my least favorite color. I kind of detest it. But something about royal blue I'm really drawn to lately. Especially when it's a palette of like royal blue, white, wood tones, and gold. So, I'm kind of getting into it lately. And when you have late night coffee, you have a spontaneous filming session. Here we go. Saturday night, party time, excellent. This is my metal hand, it looks weird from this angle. Okay. And would you look at that improvement in light quality. Yes. So, the reason I wanted to film was because I get so many questions from you guys talking about, like, can you help me learn how to sketch architecture? And I saw a video today, actually, that someone posted a video, and it was like, sketch with me. So I thought we could just, like, hang out, sketch, on gam. I don't know where these weird accents are coming from late at night. FYI. I have no idea. So, I have this sketchbook that I bought when I was in Florence. <laughs> Look at how cool I thought I was. So anyway, there's some nice, like, this is the floor plan I did of Bobo Week Gardens, and there's some nice, like, architectural studies in here. But I did this, like, plaza study of the Piazza della Repubblica, so I thought I would, like, revisit one of these floor plans on a larger scale. And that's what we're gonna film! Yay. Okay, I'm not gonna show you guys this whole piece just yet because I filmed a video of it, but stay tuned for that in the future on my blog. And I did one last quick loose watercolor painting just so I could hang out on Periscope for a bit. And on that note, it's 2 a.m. Good night. And I just had to make a few more name tags and I'm loving my Pentel color brush.